Game set match. Welcome, Welcome to, to your daily, daily serve of M and M's. I'm Michael. I'm Maria. And we have Alex, <laughs> aka Dad. <Yeah. laughs> the OG Bulldogs uh, supporter. Yeah, yeah. So I need everyone to know that Dad gave us two options when yeah. it came to the footy. It was Bulldogs or death. <laughs> so uh, when you're five, you think life is wonderful, and then. You become an adult and you look at gas prices and you're just like... Oh. We should pick this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, we are currently at uh, halftime in the Bulldogs versus Brisbane Clash. Uh, not going so well. Yeah, it's not going so well. And uh, Dad's here to give us an analysis. So first of all, Dad, uh, do you want to talk about sort of your football experience? Mine? I, I played football from the age of 16 to 33. Played in the amateurs, the VFA for Northcote, the, blah, 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 the Diamond Valley League for uh, South Marine. Enjoyed my football. Played my last game and was glad it was raining because I was crying all the way off the ground. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell them about your first ever game? Sorry? Do you want to tell them about your first ever match? Match. Uh, it, Quote unquote match. Match. Well, yeah, my first ever game of VFA footy, I walked onto the ground. When to shake the bloke's hand, next thing I was waking up in hospital. Yeah. <laughs> it against Box Hill out of Box Hill. Wonderful stuff. This yeah, is why we great, don't have a call a Great start to the, um, to the career, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you said you did a, a one pre-season with Melbourne? I did that. 87, I did a pre-season with Melbourne, yes. Nice. So, it, obviously, with that experience, uh, I'd like to think Dad has good uh, knowledge. Oh, AFL. <laughs> oh, nah, nah. It's, it's, nah, just average, I'd say. <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah, like I say, uh, Brisbane are currently leading this game 67 34 at half time. It's just, it's not pretty. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, pops. pops. Your, your analysis? Um, well, p- probably a couple of things. I mean, it's been a long time since I've played footy, but. Maybe some new concepts we could introduce to Bevo. Yeah. How about get someone to pick up their man? Come on! <laughs> you know? I mean, look, in all honesty, the, the, the Bulldogs are playing terrible. Once they um, once they get behind and the other team gets a run on them, they don't have the capacity to, to stop them. I think, you know, um, we've played, what, um, four fairly good weeks. I know I lost to the Swans a few weeks ago, but that was still a, was, a good game. Yeah. So I think this is probably a, a bit of a letdown game. But still... You know, um, I can't help but think that Bevo's got them in the room and saying, well, plan A didn't work, boys. Let's let's do plan B. And plan B is the same as plan A, except do it faster. So, you know, um, I, I don't think the dogs will come back from this. I think they will, uh, yeah, slowly and surely get slaughtered. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. It is. It is. Um, probably one of my critics that I've had a lot with these two teams is... That their head coaches, I've never found either one to make adjustments at halftime. Like Fagan and Bevo, they're just they're of the same breed to me. Well, how about we we get Bevo to do something different? How about we move one or two magnets around this week? You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you agree, Michael? Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing I do love about Bevo is when he um, like runs into the ground. Yeah, <laughs> the Bevo run. We just need to start forming a hashtag, the Bevo Run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Bevo Run. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, no, I, I think the, one of the other things that... This game's just been a lot of, you know, blown coverages in the Bulldogs' back half. Just all these Brisbane, you know, forwards and so on, just... Just out in space in front of goal. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Well, there's any upside... Bontempelli hasn't touched the ball yet. All right? Yeah. So he can only improve. Limit Lim has done a workmanlike job, but nothing spectacular. Yeah, yeah. Trelaw has hardly had a touch. Uh, uh, yeah, if, if all of a sudden these guys pick up, they might be able to do something. Yeah. <clears throat> Another thing as well is like the, the free kick to and against for the Bulldogs is just, it's crazy. Uh, last I saw it was like, what, nine free kicks to two or something? Like, yeah, but if you're chasing the player on the ball, you give the free kicks away. Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. It's just... There's, there's nothing to like about the Bulldogs at the moment. No. Nah, no, nah, it's it's not pretty. That's for sure. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah. 
What do you want to do next, babe? Do you want to move into a segment or something? Or? Uh, what I'd like to do, like, a discussion. A discussion? What's the discussion? Uh, uh, when Bont <clears throat> is no longer captain, who's going to be the next captain? Oh, oh yeah. okay. Yeah, this yeah. is a hot topic. <clears throat> because I don't know. Yeah. It's, there's not a lot, to be honest. Yeah. It still feels like early days. Um, yeah. And it probably does revolve around a lot on, you know, is Bello going to stay? Is he going to go? It, it feels like he's going to go. There's just been a lot of talk of... Let me get the know, players him go- like. Him going and so on, but... Um, yeah. Uh, I think we just make the assumption that Bevo's done at this season, at the end of this season. Um, so, do you want to go we through... We can only the- hope. Do you, you want to go through the players one by one, or...? Um, I think I'll... Yeah, no, all right. Let's, let's one do by that. One one. Chalor. He'll retire, obviously. He'll retire before the uh, ball. Yeah. Hagen. Possibility. Yeah, too mm-hmm. young, and I don't know if there's a whole uh, lot of, like, leadership yeah. qualities in I don't, that. I don't see it there. Yeah, I don't uh, see it there. Waitman. Uh, no, I don't really see I it. I don't really see it either. No. He's just kind of fun to yeah. to watch. But, uh, but if, if he was captain, they'd all be smiling. Yeah, I know. It, it's like the guy at the party that's always cracking jokes, but you can't take seriously. Was <laughs> yeah. it uh, Buslinger? I don't know. Jed Buslinger. Yeah. And nah. 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 Uh, Smith. No. No. Nah. No, nah, not Smith. He'll probably uh, be traded. Lob would be <clears throat> old. No. Nah. Uh, Charlie Clark. No. Nah. Nah. Riley Sanders. Too young. Too young at the moment. Yeah. At the moment, but has the potential. He probably yeah. does. He, yeah, I can see it in a. You know, maybe a decade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sam Darcy. Yeah, that, 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 that's a possibility because he, yeah. he, the kid's as tough as nails. Yeah. I mean, I know he copped two weeks, but I loved what he did. The bloody. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, so he's got he's got the medal. Yeah, possibility. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jack McRae would be too old. <laughs> uh, Gallagher. Nah. Nah. No. Baker would be too old. Riley West. Nah. Mm, he's sort of. 50-50 for me. Yeah, no. Also, no. A bit too I, I feel like he'd probably go with, um, who was it before? Uh, Sanders more so than, yeah. Um, yeah. than West. Uh, Dure would be too old. Croft. Yeah. He's only young fellas and played yet, so. Yeah. Uh, Coffield. 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 Coffield, yeah, possible, possibility, yeah. Uh, uh, O'Donnell. I like O'Donnell. I think... I think he's got a bit of metal behind him, you know? Yeah. His old man was a really tough cricketer. Um, <clears throat> so there's some steel in the spine. Yeah. So yeah. You're old enough to know that. I'm <clears throat> too young to know that. <laughs> he, also, he also played for St Kilda too. Oh, really? Yeah, but I only played 30 games or something. That kicked 16 yeah, goals. He wanted to play cricket. But he chose to play cricket, so, you know, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay, so who were we at? Oh, Donald. Okay, so Jones. Liam Jones. Nah, too old. old. Too old. Ed Richards. Probably yeah, I like Rich. I mean, he yeah. he, he makes he, yeah. he makes things happen. He's one of those guys that you know we're really missing him tonight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not having Richards in the sides really hurting the dogs. Yeah. Hmm. <coughs> uh, Libertari will retire before. Yeah, Bob yeah, too, too old. Yeah. Uh, James Harms. Nah, nah, nah. Van nah. Nah. nah, nah. Kicks too many points. Oh my gosh, Dad. <laughs> Karmas. Buku. Nah. 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 Uh, uh, Polter. Nah. Nah. Uh, <laughs> Collie would reject nah. Honey. <laughs> uh, Bedendo. Bedendo. Never heard of him. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, <laughs> Joel Frisier, I guess, and that. Nah. Yeah, no, no. What number is he? 37. 27. 27. I, I don't mind him. He looks a likely type, actually. Yeah. I mean, he shows some leadership in the... In the second quarter there, when you got the ball, he said the boys, you know, slow down, slow down. That's what you want your leaders mm. to do, you know? Yeah. <coughs> uh, Anthony Scott would probably be too old. Mm-hmm. Rockland McNeil would nah. be too old. Uh, you, you miss Bramble. Yeah, I'm going in with Bramble now. Nah. No. Uh, Bailey Dale, maybe. Fools. More like a vice captain, maybe. He, he'd yeah. be in your leadership group, but I'm not sure about captain. Yeah, 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 and yeah. no, I think I agree with that. Yeah. And uh, Arthur Jones. No. Howdy Jones, no. No. Uh, Norton, I feel Nor- like it's a big one. Norton could be a big one, yes. Yeah, I I feel strong on Norton. Uh, Bailey Williams. Nah. Nah, I don't think so. Nah. No. He's, he's kind of handy, but... Caleb Daniel? 
No. Nah. No? Nah. Luke, clearly? Cleary? Nah. Clearly? Nah. Clear, clear, I can't speak. Uh, Adriscoe? Nah. No. Nah. <laughs> Garcia. You know what, guys? The last few games he's played really well. He, he's got those leadership qualities on the he, ground. Yeah, yeah I know. It's possible. It's poss- 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 possible. 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 Yeah, uh, Jason Johansson will retire. There'd have to be a score review for Garcia to <laughs> get across the line. Lachlan Smith is... I don't know how old he is. No. 18. 18, apparently. Yeah. He looks 25. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's aged. <laughs> There's a uh, Kelsey... Rip, ripstra, and he doesn't even have a picture. <laughs> yeah, well, that will this. Yeah, I know he's uh, out. Are we have to uh, dodge yet. Uh, uh, yeah, Alex Keith is next. Well, he will retire. <coughs> How old is he? Keith. Keith is thirty-two. Yeah, no, nah, he'll retire. <clears throat> Too old, says. Ryan Gardner is listed as a ruck. Nah, no, nah, he won't be. Um, He's not very inspiring on the field, makes too many mistakes. <laughs> Tim English. That's a possibility. I yeah. know, that's another possibility yeah. for me. Yeah. So. Strong possibility, Tim English. Yeah. yeah, so I think for me, the three favourites going into, you know, you know, uh, Captain Succession <laughs> would be probably, my first favourite would be, um, what's his name? Norton. 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 And then probably English and then probably Richards. That's probably where... Yeah. My thought is. Okay, I think for me it's Norton, uh, Sam Darcy. Yeah. And I don't have a third. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, I'd bring back EJ Witten. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't bring him back from the dead, Dad. Oh, bugger. All right, then. Um, probably Norton, Ed Richards. Yeah, Richards. And uh, yeah, Luke, um, Luke Darcy. Uh, Sam, Sam Darcy. Darcy. Yeah. <coughs> I just, and yeah, I, we were kind of having this, these discussions throughout the week and it just seems to fit that, you know, for the Bulldogs to pay Norton, you know, a five-year contract or eight-year contract or whatever it was, like um, a couple million each year, it's just, it seems to kind of make sense that that would be the case. Yeah, that, yeah. that contract's pissed off a few people, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Buddy Franklin used to have the biggest contract, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it just, it feels like, it may, like, why would you pay a player so much, you know, for... Well, quite clearly they see him as a, yeah, a future leader at the yeah, club. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> exactly. So I think it probably will end up going to him. Um, yeah. And yeah. Unless something drastic happens. Yeah. I know World War Three. Unless well, something drastic happens and uh, Bevo stays on for the next five years and keeps Bond on as captain for all those years. <laughs> so, yeah. With that being said, do you want to do the next segment? Or? Okay, do you, this is the last one? Yeah, we'll, we'll f- round this one out before, quick, before half time but... is over. But, yeah, we'll uh, introduce our segment of, you know, Chuck on the Boots. Um, we're going to pretend like we're the general managers for the Bulldogs. Uh, what do we change? What do we keep? And yeah, anything else that we need to do? Okay, so we talked about this earlier. Yeah. But trade Bailey Smith. Yeah. And possibly lob to West Coast, and yep. we get Harley Reid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dream. Um. <laughs> yeah, and we have another contender for you know captain. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Um. Yeah. So I don't mind that. Um, I think another thing that I would like to see is just Bevo gone. <laughs> um, We've already talked about that enough. I think they already know that. Yeah, exactly. I think that's just the number one thing I need to see, yeah. though. It just has, it has to go. Yeah. What about you, Dad? Um, I reckon they have a big clean-out. <laughs> one, one thing, um, many years ago, I used to work with, with Alex Jezelenko, you know, premiership coach at Carlton. We worked together at Visi Board. And he, one thing he said to me, he goes, Alex, you know... Sometimes you've got to be ruthless and clear, clear out a whole heap of players to get the new batch in. So, yeah, I'd be getting rid of the likes of McRae. Not McRae. <coughs> yeah, McRae. Uh, Jeray. Uh, what's That's the little okay. fella's name? Um, no, no, Caleb. Caleb Daniel, get Caleb. rid of him. No, no, no. Nah. Um, nah. <coughs> get rid the of Bevo. <coughs> We've already discussed that. And, yeah, look, and then all of a sudden... 
you got some room in your salary cap to bring some good players in, you know what I mean? Mm. And that's what, what he said, you've you got to turn over five or five or six of your, you know, your, your, your ex-stars, the guys that, you know, are, are, are past their prime now. Because if you look at it, you know, McRae's not going to be there in the next premiership window. Um, Mm. According to Fox Woody, we are you know, in a premiership well, window. We're in a premiership window? Well, someone tell Bloody Bevo that, will they? Mm. You know, um, but, you know, the players I mentioned, they're not really going to be there for the next premiership, so you've got to start building. You know, you've got three three great young forwards in the, you know, Darcy, um, you, Will Hagen, uh, Norton. You know, that's something you can build around. In, in the back half of the ground, you've got... O'Donnell, you got Buku Kamish, you can build it around. You know what I mean? Mm. You know, Rory Lobb to go as well. I think he's, you know, he's yeah. he's, he's gone. Um, to be honest, I, I love Keith, but he's got to go too because you've got to start getting the younger players in there taking that responsibility. You know what I mean? Mm. And, and the midfield's ageing as well. I mean, you know... Like, <clears throat> Funny how that happens. Yeah. Li- <laughs> Liver's 31 now, you know. Um, yeah. I love the Buddha. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not saying get rid of Libby. You need to keep some of your more you know mature players around. But yeah, maybe clear out a few and you know make some room for some other players. Yeah, yeah. I I, I mean feel like I also it's easier if you're like a new coach though. Yeah, I feel like I I feel like I'm just also not as impressed with the Bulldogs forwards. I think like the midfield is fantastic. You don't really need to change too much with the midfield. It's just. Currently, it's the forward line that's really hurting, I feel like. Um, just a oh. bunch of questionable goal kicks. Sam Darcy's looking good, though. He is looking really good as a leading goal scorer. But otherwise... I think your problem with your forwards, other than the kicking, is the fact that they all fly for the same ball. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, why, why aren't they being coached to, um, you know, one go one way, one go the other, you know? Create some one on ones. You got more of a chance. Yeah. But they all they all they all fly for the one ball. One one opposition player goes down. The other two stay down. Ball hits the ground. Boom. Off it goes. Yeah. I think the other thing that the Dons at the moment too is yeah you got Waitman. If we look at that forward line, you've also got Waitman who's got plenty of years. Yeah. No, he's good. So you got four really good goal kickers there. You know. Mm. Get it out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, um, should we? Wrap things up and return to yeah. uh, three quarter. Um, well, yeah, I reckon after that we just keep going with the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I know we might come back maybe for a post post game one. Maybe we'll see if there's time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with that being said, that is part two of uh, this this week's uh, instalment of your daily serve of M and M's.